And our first movie is a very exciting yet also a very emotionally complicated movie about man and nature. It's called Never Cry Wolf, and it's about a year in the life of a government scientist whose assignment is to study the eating habits of the wild Arctic wolves by living among them. The scientist is a sort of goofy eccentric played by Charlie Martin Smith, and in this scene he's just been dumped alone in the middle of the unlimited Alaskan wilderness, and he sees his first wolf. best scenes, the scientist is sunbathing when he's suddenly surrounded by a herd of caribou stampeded by ravenous wolves. Don't you kind of get the feeling there of how inadequate man is as an animal? It's wild. <laughs> it's a good thing we got civilized. That scene really captures what happens in this movie, which is that the guy from civilization, the scientist with his pipe and his radio and his six-week supply of beer, he gets absorbed into the awesome mysteries of nature. He finds his wolves, a pair of wolves, and their three cubs, and as he watches them, he begins to respect and even love them. The photography of the wolves in this movie is unforgettable. In fact, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen about man's relationship with the other animals on this planet. I love it too. I think it's absolutely terrific. And I know it's going to get a lot of attention mm -hmm. for the photography of nature in the film. It was done by, the uh, film was directed by Carol Ballard, who did The Black Stallion. Mm -hmm. This is sort of the white wolf, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, I want to credit this young actor. His name, as you said, is Charlie Martin Smith. Mm -hmm. We've seen him as sort of a cut up, crazy character in American Graffiti. Mm -hmm. He played the four eyed kid, the awkward kid. His heart is so pure in trying to be a better person. He says in the narration of the beginning film, that's why he, mm -hmm. he goes on this experiment, that we really care so much for him as a person and that, he, that we do, we'd we follow him anywhere. This guy could have been in the middle of he, the city. And, and he does good. become a better person. But what is fascinating about the end of this film is that it doesn't end with one of these great noble endings yes. where there's a sun setting and man and nature and everything is terrific. It ends on a very complicated note where this guy realizes that just by using his eyes to look at these wolves, he's brought other men and in a way he's destroyed the environment that he grew to love as much as the wolves do. I know, but it's pure as the wolves are, you know, because that's uh -huh. communicated. This guy is a very pure, it's a, marvelous it's character. A good performance. Okay. We both admire the adventure film Never Cry Wolf. Two thumbs up. It stars Charles Martin Smith, a lot of wolves, and a few mice.